Hi, uh, this is Raju and uh, welcome to my video tutorials. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how to add multiple holes using a hole wizard in UGNX 8. So let's begin with the simple extrude part, which I have opened already. Just uh, click on hole, click on hole wizard. So here you can choose what type of hole you want to use. Say for example here I'm using threaded hole and uh, the size you can choose here as needed. Say for example M8 or M6. And here you can mention the thread depth or you can, you can change the value later. So now just so it is asking for select planner phase to sketch or specific points. points. So just click on the phase where you want to create the hole. So it has created a point and uh, just click as as many holes you want so ug will add uh, points and say close you can either edit the dimensions uh, which are already created or you can add your own dimensions say for example you can say this is 40 and this is 25 so this is not so i have constrained the first hole and the second one again if you want to give the constraint from the edge just click the edge and select the dim and add the dimension so the big dimension is will be deleted and you can again add one more dimension for the third hole say for example 80 and that's it here uh, we'll make all these three holes in one line so what we need to do is just create one sketch just draw one line escape click and right click convert to reference so the line is converted to reference now click on constraints and click this line and the point so and click on point on curve constraint so the <coughs> point lies on the line now do the just repeat the same thing to constrain the third hole also let's try and click on pattern curve and all the three holes all in one line right. and say right click finish sketch so here depending on the size as you want you can change the whole size and here the whole depth also say for example okay so this is how you can create multiple holes in AG. So for example, I'll give this as some more and increase the value to 10. Yes. And after creating three holes, suppose if you need to, if you want to add a few more holes to this existing holes, just click on threaded hole, right click, edit parameters. or edit parameters and click on the sketch and here go to insert datum points point create a click on how many holes you want so just we added two more holes and to make this hole uh, uh, vertically in line with the first hole just create a sketch like how we created earlier there's a sketch right click convert to reference so now click on constraints so select the line and the point and click on point on curve so this is the first and this fourth hole are in line vertically and now you can add the dimension from this hole to this say for example 30 and now and there is an another way like where you can use the expressions to position this hole say for example i want this and this hole to be in line instead of even drawing the sketch and converting it to reference you can edit, copy this expression for this dimension p181 just double click paste it enter so these two holes are in same line now right and this value you can edit as you want say 30 
Okay, right click and sketch. Say okay. So another two more holes are added to the added to existing three holes. So this is how you can add multiple holes in UG using whole wizards. And this uh, I think it concludes this session. Thank you.